Hi, my name's Darren Belton. I'm part of our farm management team here at Washington Fruit and Produce. And as you can see behind me, we're in full bloom. I wanted to talk to you about some of the activities surrounding that, including bees and frost protection. The first critical step in setting a commercial crop is pollination. That activity involves a bee picking up pollen grains from another source and transferring it to our commercial crop. Once we've had the successful transfer of pollen, fertilization requires that that pollen grain germinates and traverses the style and ovary down to the female portion of the flower. Once fertilization occurs, we can have commercial grade fruit. We have to have a healthy and vibrant bee population, and it also helps to have great weather, low wind, warm temperatures to help complete that process and be successful. Each spring after clearing the hurdle of pollination and fertilization, the next threat is managing frost protection and mother nature. And this spring is certainly delivered in that regard. We use two key steps in managing frost. First of which is water. Irrigation water can be delivered in an overhead fashion and it encompasses ice over the buds and flowers and protects them in an insulated ice blanket so that the temperatures don't drop below 32 degrees. We commonly use under tree frost protection, which means that we use water and as temperatures drop below 32 degrees, latent energy is given off with a burst of heat that our wind machines can go ahead and pick up. You might have driven by an orchard and seen towers. These wind machines are about 35 feet tall and they have a blade or a propeller that's about 20 feet. They operate at about 650 miles an hour and they push cold air out of our pockets and draws, which accumulate because cold air is much heavier than warm air. They also grab warm air aloft, which is called an inversion, and commingle that air. After running frost protection measures each evening, we can check our success rate the next day by dissecting flowers looking for damage. Usually the threat of frost control ends around Mother's Day when temperatures begin to warm again in early summer. Our growers and ranch managers literally work day and night to manage bloom, pollinization, fertilization, and frost control to ensure a great quality crop this summer and fall.